So what a year it's been. Hi guys, so today I am in my pyjamas. It is a very relaxed kind of reflection video. I'm on my bed and today I decided that I was going to reflect on my year. So as you can see, I have dyed my hair. You might see another video of me fixing it because I don't like it, but hey, we're gonna go with it. So 2020 has not been an easy year for anybody. Um, and we've just all tried to make the best of it. And I've had a lot of people walk in and out my life this year, but we've all tried to make the most of it. So let's just kind of get into my year and see how it went. So January, the start of January, which feels so long ago, um, I started with the bad anxiety that I started to feel regarding the issues with Iran and the USA. Um, and this is the first time that I actually felt that my anxiety was not being managed and something needed to be done about it, which was a big step for me. Um, I also proceeded to fall over a curb um, and fracture my ankle, uh, which I just thought was the initial shock. I never thought I fractured it. Um, but I proceeded to walk 0 0.4 kilometers after on it because I thought, oh, it's just a, fr it's just a sprain, you know? It's just an initial shock of why I'm in pain, you know? And I had a massage and I was like, as soon as I laid down, I was like, there is so much seriously wrong here. And people were asking me, you all right, you all right? I was like, yeah, no, I've just fallen over. It's initial shock, we're fine. But I ended up two days later in A&E &E, um, and being put in a boot, which meant I couldn't go back to work because they couldn't have me with my boot. And also just before that, I got my Molly tattoo uh, on my arm. And this was the first time that I had my hair dyed purple and pink, which kind of, I didn't really like at first, but it grew on me. This shade of like purple and I have blue at the back, but I think it's just all gonna go blue because I really like it. And also coming up to a year, I've had my diagnosis that I have gallstones. Um, I'm still obviously with COVID waiting to hear back for that because I need to have surgery on that. So we're still in the process of that. February. Uh, this was when coronavirus started coming up in the news more and I spent a lot of my time at uni most days of the week. Nothing really big happened in February so it wasn't really a massive month at all. March. Where do we begin? Uh, coronavirus got really bad obviously um, and on the 23rd of March the UK went into lockdown. Seeing videos on the internet of what was happening in Italy that people weren't allowed to leave their houses and stuff, I was very apprehensive about lockdown and I thought that we were no nobody was allowed to leave. You were not allowed to leave for like your food and stuff and you had to send packages and give them like rations. But that was literally like my anxiety kicking up there. And I was even asking my dad if like the NHS was still working, like will paramedics and the police still be out? Of course they will. Um, but my anxiety would not let that go. Um, and I was assigned a counsellor in March and I started taking an my antidepressants as well, which I've mentioned in previous videos. Um, I will link it down below in my Draw My Life Updated where I explain about my antidepressants. Um, I also bought a face mask at the start of March. I bought it online and I have a picture here of me wearing my face mask and I sent that to my group chat on Snapchat and everybody was there like, Emily, why have you bought that? Like, you're so paranoid, you're not gonna need it. How everybody else was wrong. I was so right to buy that, like, I needed it. And nobody else was like, everybody else was like, calm down, Emily, you're overreacting. This won't be as serious as you think it is. And it, no, I was right. <laughs> I also bleached my hair and dyed it blue myself, which you might have seen the video. Um, it is now on like 13,000 views, which I, which a video of myself 
without it being one direction because i think that's the most viewed video on my channel um hasn't like never been that big before so thanks and also the people who commented about my bathroom we uh, uh, like may be after the first lockdown we started our bathroom and then obviously the second lockdown came so we couldn't do anything so it's like half finished so there you go like we're sorting it chill out uh I, by this time in march i'd also started doing uh online uni classes and i was starting to upload more youtube videos which for me just never happens does it <laughs> April, I was still doing online uni classes. I also had a uni exam um, which got moved to online as well. Um, I think that, I don't remember when my uni exam was. That might have been May or June. But yeah, I had a uni exam which got moved to online as well because we couldn't go in. We were still in lockdown and I decided to take all my posters off my wall and paint my room. Hence the wall behind me. I do have, I had a whole video planned about that, about painting my wall and stuff and about how it was a nightmare. But I don't think it's going to stay long to be honest because I, I like it but I want to be able to put stuff off on my wall and this is just not helpful so... And it's not really what I want anymore. So I'm going to see about this. I don't know. And I also uploaded more YouTube videos. Which again, for me, I'm never consistent. But it, it seems to be working out. May. We were still in lockdown, but restrictions were being uh, lifted. And uh, with, obviously, social distancing and stuff, I sat outside my nan's house. And I saw her for the first time since um march i'd not seen her for 53 days or eight weeks um and we sat out I, I sat outside and she sat inside and we actually had a conversation face to face which was amazing um as i've not seen her in so long since before lockdown started i also slipped my eyebrow that month um <laughs> very important decision i as you remember i commented down a video um and it was very impulsive i had a friend who was like do it do it, do it. and i was like oh okay so i did it and yeah didn't suit me at all uh, i also uploaded more youtube videos and i finished uni for the year in may in june restrictions were still being lifted and benson ran at me and caused a cut to appear on my nose that was painful and also very upsetting because I think my nose is my best feature. Um, I, I did put it in a YouTube video, which obviously I was still recording. So I put it in a YouTube video and addressed it. So nobody was like, why have you got caught on your nose, Benson? And I also got into baking like cakes and stuff between June and July. I, I was quite impressed and I managed to pick up a new skill in lockdown, which I was very impressed with myself. I still bake to this day, which is really good. July and restrictions had been lifted a lot more. Um, I managed to go away on holiday in the UK with my family. Um, and I also had my nose pierced. Um, I explained in another video that it was actually botched and the woman completely messed it up. So I had to go and get it done again. But on the same day, I also got my thigh tattoo um which i love and i think i want to get another one on this side but who knows i don't know anymore what i want but i know i want more and i also did an escape room with my friends um on my birthday at the end of the july um we all had to wear like face masks so i just went and hung out with my friends we managed to go to the pub you know that kind of thing it, it was really good for, for a lockdown birthday it was good August and I went on holiday with my friends without any kind of parental supervision uh, for the first time and it was really good we got to hang like we got to hang out and go drinking <laughs> responsibly of course um and to go to the beach and do whatever we wanted to do and obviously I drove around so yeah um, I also went on holiday again with my family and that was just a really nice experience. Uh, the videos from that were where we placed tattoos on Casey and also where we did the makeup challenges as well. I also got my septum pierced that uh, holiday and I ended up taking it out four days later because I just didn't think it was manageable and 
to be honest, I think it just looked like two bits of snot coming out the end of my nose because it wasn't a long bar. Um, yeah, I would have liked to have kept it, but I just don't really think it was me. Um, maybe I get more piercings one day, but I think I just stick to my nose because that's part of me and I love it. Um, sadly, um, the bad part of August, I lost my job due to COVID. Um, they just didn't have um, enough space for me. Obviously, I couldn't work January to March uh, because of my ankle. And then I did. I worked one week, one like one day back, and it was a half day. And then we went straight into lockdown. So I got furloughed. And then um, August time, there was like we the place where you're working isn't performing as well so we you know we've had to let stuff go and i was like okay you know i'm only part time like i work every other weekend you know okay i understand so i've been jobless since um which is a pain but i'm trying to work through it i've been to job interviews and stuff but obviously there's so many people are unemployed at the minute that it's just hard to find a job especially for me um as a younger person and then obviously I'll be a graduate soon so it's just gonna be a bit of a struggle I think but the positives I noticed that in August I had lost some weight over lockdown which I'd spent time trying to do I'd like I'd done fitness videos on YouTube and stuff and they're obviously mentioning it I probably get comments um, on the video about my weight, which I've had before, which don't bother me at all because I don't really care. Um, because I'm doing me and that's it really. I mean, come on, my t-shirt, <laughs> my t-shirt says chubby single and ready for a Pringle. Like, I'm not bothered. So I was quite impressed with myself that I'd done that. Uh, in September, September was a very non-eventful month, I guess. Um, I saw Shannon for her 21st birthday, which didn't really go as we planned we planned a party uh for her 21st and that didn't go ahead because of covid um but i started classes back at uni and i was only here in one day a week um and the rest was online october <laughs> was a very painful month <laughs> uh, i started feeling really really unwell with my gallstones i was in constant pain um it it just didn't end for me i had started with backache and then i was like obviously i have backache so i had like pain where my gallstones are and literally it was just everything the only position i was comfortable in was laying down um but if I wasn't laying down in my bed, I weren't comfortable. So I was basically trying not to get out of bed because it was so painful. Um, but my operation was getting postponed and postponed and postponed because of COVID. But I got a letter saying that um, surgeries that weren't as urgent were now going ahead again. Um, but I still hadn't heard anything. And I'm like, I, like, I was told that I'd be at higher risk because I was younger. Uh, for complications but yet I'm still being pushed back so you know I was in a lot of pain I uh, started doing online mainly online only classes at uni because obviously I was in pain I didn't really want to go out of bed and plus nobody was really going in because of covid because they were staying at home and not staying in uni so you know it mainly moved to online and at the end of October, I got the dreaded news that I never, ever wanted to hear. I was advised to get a COVID test. So at the end of October, I had a home test sent to me and my dad. Um, and we sent it off and we had to wait for the results then. November. Ah, oh, November. Three days into the month, I got my results back for my covid test and it turns out that i was positive with covid19 we hadn't got a clue where i got it from because i hardly went to uni i remember going to uni i went two days and that was september time um the only other place i've been was aldi and that was to pick my non option shopping but i cleaned down everywhere before i touch anything so 
I'm like wiping trolleys and like anything, hand sanitizing, I'm doing it all. I'm always wearing my mask whilst I'm out. So I just did not understand where I got COVID from. Um, my nan also tested positive for COVID, but I hadn't been near her. I was at least like, I hadn't touched anything. I wasn't near her, but I was slightly coughing before that. So it was very, I have a whole video coming on it. I don't want to make a video, but hey, like we're going to do it. Um, if it, you know, there's a whole like, it was very strange about how I got it. But if I hadn't got tested, I would have never known I got COVID. Um, so after 10 days, I got tested again and I made sure that my dad got tested again because he's in a vulnerable category. And I was now negative for COVID. And my dad, third time in a row, my dad was negative for COVID. He's not had it. So even though we live in the same household and we stayed two meters away from each other the whole time, sharing facilities, me wiping down afterwards, he'd still managed to not get it, which was so surprising. But thank God he hadn't because I don't know what that would have done to him. Um, I also recorded my two pretty little thing, um, clothing haul kind of plus size reviews um which i had a lot of comments on the ski one which apparently helped quite a few people which it was really good i'm glad that that helped people um i would do more videos but i feel like pretty little thing is so gonna get annoyed that i'm getting close and sending them back so and the uk went into a second lockdown which didn't surprise me at all and i said would happen but again nobody listens to me December, um, literally, I finished my Christmas shopping the day I found out I had COVID. I was doing all my Christmas shopping online and I think I finished in December. I I wanted to get Katie and Leah um, a James Charles palette each and I was buying them online and the people I was buying them off, I bought the first one I bought was real and it was amazing and I was like yeah I know this is real you can see with the box I've so I I got cases so I was happy with that and then the second woman that I bought Leah's off when it came finally it wasn't real so I had to go and find another one and I paid legit money for the, the third one let's say I paid legit money for that and when it came it wasn't real either so i paid so much money already for it and i was like right i'm gonna get this palette if it kills me so the fourth palette i bought it sounds so bad that i had to buy four palettes to get it right and then when the fourth one came it came literally three days before christmas i think and it was real and i was like oh thank you so much because i was literally it would have ruined everything because then I wouldn't have been able to give Casey hers because you can't give Casey something without Leah something. So it was like, uh, so yeah, that was madness. But I literally, I got my Christmas shopping done early. So everything was fine. But I kept buying little things here and there. Like, oh, <laughs> so good. Uh, I also finished uni for the term in December, which I was quite happy about because I had quite a lot to do. And just with everything going on, it was just quite stressful. Um, but I got to see my grandma and my family on Christmas Day because I live in a tier 3 area. Uh, I feel sorry for everybody who lived in tier, who lives in a tier 4 area that can't see their fam that couldn't see their families on Christmas Day that had plans. It was a really messed up situation to do like a few days before Christmas because everybody had plans and that was really sad to see that people couldn't see their families. So I just appreciated the time I had with my family and yeah. So what are my plans for 2021? Um, hopefully go on holiday. <laughs> hopefully. Um, graduating uni. Uh, I graduate in July. Hopefully it's a face-to-face -face graduation with like the cap and gown and stuff. You know, I want a high school musical moment so bad. <laughs> um, I hope to lose more weight for graduation. You know, I hope to look actually nice for graduation. Um, and I hope to upload more YouTube videos. Hopefully that goes all right. Who knows anymore? Um, I'm late with this because I've had a lot going on and a lot of... M mentally, I've not been all that great at the moment. But that doesn't matter. I'm here and I was focused enough to do this. So we've done it. <laughs> that was my 2020 in a nutshell. Um, I hope you've all had a good Christmas and have a happy new year. Um, and I hope you have all the best for 2021. Follow me on Instagram.
from my Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe and see you sometime. Bye.